Hey, so I just wanted to go over my nail routine real quick. Uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. I usually do this in the morning, so I'll have coffee and kind of do some administrative stuff, checking emails and all that. And then uh, about an hour after I wake up, get the guitar out and I'll start working on refining my tone because this has been a big goal of mine over the past year. I think uh, having a great tone, it goes so much farther than being able to play fast virtuosic stuff. I've had students who are are just monster players, but they don't sound good. There will be like just way too thin of a sound or the the volume control is just not there. I recommend that if you if you are working on improving your classical guitar playing, the number one thing that you should focus on is your sound. Every morning, basically, I just take my file kit. Got a few things. So in the case like today, I haven't gotten much time to work on this because I had family in town. So I'll take this one, which is just it's like a four grit uh, file and buffer. I use this if I need to do extreme shaping. I'll, I'll work through and just kind of refine things because the first two of these really kind of take the nail back really fast. And then the, the other two just kind of smooth it out. And then after that, I go to my, the Ziva brand Austrian crystal file. This is really great. I've had this for several years and you can just wash it with soap and water and it is basically like new after you do that. But this is a much finer grit, but this is also great for shaping and it's great for just cleaning off any ridges or inconsistencies in the nail after a, a night's sleep or after you shower or something. I go through these, which is, this is a sort of a grittier thing. These are all by Ziva. So you can see uh, this one's gritty. This one's just for polishing. This is the finishing, like really smoothing it out. But I do those on each nail. And to test out my sound, I'll play like this one. So I use just a real simple etude to refine the tone and just test out how my fingers are responding to each string. If you look, my nails aren't very long. I do this daily, so I, I try to keep them like relatively close to to the same shape every time. My thumbnail, I have false nail underneath. This is just cut from a ping pong ball. So I glue it underneath. I'll shape it kind of big at first and then kind of cut it back and then file it down. That whole process can take maybe like 20 minutes to, to really get the shape. It sounds great and um, it helps because my, my thumbnail like grows away from the flesh and so this adds a, like a little deeper action to the, the nail. I follow Scott Tennant's uh, kind of ramp shaping so you can see that they're they're not like vampire nails, they're uh, more just like these little guides for the string. Yeah, so that's, that's basically what I do. If you have any suggestions of your own or any comments or questions about how to shape the nails, please leave them in the comment section there. If you like the video, if you find it informative, let me know and uh, please subscribe, check out my music videos and we'll see you next time.